Welcome back. The stock that is buzzing, in fact, not just today, it's been buzzing lately, has been Uflex. Posted a strong set of first quarter earnings. The most important part is whether this sustenance continues into the second quarter or not, because we saw a sharp expansion in the EBITDA margin and the operational performance. And that was primarily on account of the BOPP and BOPED spreads, which we understand has been widening. The management here has joined us in the past a couple of times and did indicate that. We are joined again by Mr. Rajesh Bhatia. Mr. Bhatia, in the past you did say that, you know, BOPP, BOPED spreads are close to around 65 to 60 odd rupees, and that was much higher. Uh, what were the spreads in the first quarter, and what are they now as we speak? So, I think July has been better than the average of the previous quarter, mm -hmm. and August also till date. Uh, but yes, you are right that uh, you know in the last quarter also they've been around uh, 70. Uh -huh. In July and uh, average of last quarter? Mm. Uh, average of last quarter was around 70 rupees. So that's that's BOPT, BOPET. BOPET. Okay, all right. And what about BOPP? BOPP is relatively stable. Okay. Uh, BOPP was not uh, you know too much affected by the prices. I think the major thing that has happened is because there's, there's a lot of demand for the pet film, so the demand side remains the strong. Mm. And the raw material prices, because a lot of PPA, MEG, which goes into your textile production is now uh, not getting consumed. So there has been a correction on the raw material prices when the demand side is strong. Okay. So that uh, pricing, correcting of the raw material has not translated into a lower selling price. Okay. As compared to the last year and this first quarter, the prices are down for Bopet also. The prices uh, last year, if we talk of Q1, the average Bopet prices were about 120 rupees and they're about 105 now uh, in the Q1. But, you know, because the raw material fall has been pretty sharp. So that's where, uh, you know, the, the additional uh, margins. So, so the July margins would, uh, and middle of August margins would still be higher. I do understand that things are now normalizing a bit as the, you know, the pent up demand uh, which happened because of uh, the supply chain pipeline getting empty completely as people consumed and stored more food and pharma at home is now getting things to the normalized. So I think uh, H2, we should see uh, uh, higher volumes, but, you know, the, the margins uh, may stabilize uh, in a much better way. And right. uh, we will definitely make up for the volumes. Uh, Mr. Bhatia? Volumes with, uh, yeah, Mr. Yeah. Bhatia, so we get that. You know, realizations have come in lower, but the spreads have improved because the raw material cost has also moved lower. So that's the broad point you're telling us in terms of spreads. Give us a sense then in terms of volumes. You said things are back now, uh, you know, they're coming back, novelty is returning, which is good for the entire, you know, globe as well as good for your investors as well. So give us a sense in terms of volumes. I believe on a sequential basis, volumes are up by close to 8 and after on 9%. On a year-in-year -year basis, what was uh, the volume Hello. degrowth or growth, if you could give us a sense in terms of volumes on a year-in-year -year basis and the targeted volumes for this year, FI21. Go ahead, Mr. Bhatia. So overall production volume for the Q1 is 7% up uh, YOY okay. and 13.4% QNQ. Okay. Uh, the packaging business, uh, uh, the volumes are up 10% YOY and 9% uh, QNQ. In FY21, we, uh, you know, as compared to about uh, 300,000 tons of the packaging films which we sell, on an annual basis across uh, our, our whole operations. I think this year we will be doing about about three, uh, 360, 365,000 tons or so. And next year, and this year when our plants all get commissioned, and next year we'll do close to about four and a half uh, lakh tons. So which is uh, at least a 50% improvement over the FY20 uh, level. And uh, I think uh, our uh, volumes will come from, you know, the new production capacity. Even during the current quarter, there has been some contribution. Let, let, let's simplify it, Mr. Bhatia. Let's simplify it. What sort of volume growth are you looking for in this year, in FI21? And secondly, what does that mean in terms of your overall sales? So we will look at about 10% volume growth this year. And sales growth? 
So it both is almost the commentary. So there, there's okay. no lag between the two. All right. Um, you know, the other big... Uh, factor that everyone tracks with regard to you, Flex, the stock has seen a big, big recovery. That's your septic packaging business. If you could give us a sense in terms of what is the capacity utilization levels there, what were the sales in the first quarter, and for the year, what is the target? So I, I can only share the, uh, that, you know, why or why the LP liquid packaging sales were up about 80%. And at that level, the plant operated at about 65% capacity utilization levels in Q1. Having said that, as I've been saying earlier, the initial order book was indicating a 100% uh, kind of, or 95% kind of a capacity utilization. Uh, and this was the only category which got affected by the pandemic because, you know, the liquid juices and things like that, because of the lockdowns and all that, you know, they, they, the consumption got affected. Uh, but, you know, we are on course to, um, you know, achieve that. And, you know, we made how many, how many units will you sell? How, what's the revenue target for this vertical? So, so as of now, we are, we are looking at about, uh, you can say, a nullized basis of uh, 3 billion packs. 3 billion packs. Okay. All right. Uh, final question then. Any debt reduction plans? Just two numbers we want. Debt in the books. By the end of the year, what will the debt in the books be? So by end of this year, I think we'll peak out. We'll, uh, our long term debt will be about 30,000 odd crores. Uh, oh, good part is that, you know, because EBITDA is expected to we be... We missed that number, Mr. Bhatia. We missed that number. Uh, what is the debt? Uh, about 3,000. 3,000 crores? Long -term debt. Okay. Yeah, 3,000 crores are long term debt. Okay. But our EBITDA, uh, debt to EBITDA, we will try to keep it between uh, by less than two. Mm -hmm. And next year, our target is to keep the long-term debt to EBITDA at uh, less than within 1.5 years. Fair point there. The last year, you did an EBITDA of close to around 1,100-odd crores. The first quarter, it's close to 400-odd crores. So if we extrapolate that, we will keep an eye out on the debt number that you're talking about. Thanks a lot, Mr. Bhatia, for stopping by and giving us all those details. 10% volume growth and flattest sort of revenue growth with margin expansion is what he is guiding for. With that, we'll sit through a short break, come back. We focus on the markets. Prakash Gava will join us.